Good day, engineers. So for this video, we will solve sample problem number two, still for the topic na lateral earth pressure at rest condition. So our sample uh, sample problem number two states that a four meter high retaining wall supports a backfill having a saturated unit weight of 19.5 kilonewton per cubic meter and an angle of shearing resistance of Phi is equal to 21 degrees. If the water table is at the top of the wall, determine the magnitude of the at rest lateral earth force. So, ibig sabihin nito, uh, yung 4 meter high na retaining wall is sinusuportahan niya yung horizontal backfill na saturated which is having a unit weight of 19.5 kN per cubic meter na saturated din. Then, Meron tayong angle of internal friction na 21 degrees. At sabi, yung water table is nasa height which is at the top of the retaining wall. So, para masolve natin to we need the pressure diagrams. So, for this sample problem, meron na tayong dalawang pressure diagrams. So, P sub 1 and the second one is P sub 2. Ngayon, paliwanag natin what is P sub 1. Si P sub 1 dyan, so lagyan lang natin ng rule lines. So, si P sub 1 dyan is for the pressure nung lateral earth. So, this is for the soil. Ngayon, si P sub 2 natin, is siya yung force na ine-exert or pressure na ine-exert ng water. So, ibig sabihin, may dalawa tayong pressure na isosolve for this type of problem. Siyempre, yung P sub 1, susundin niya yung rule na habang bumababa tayo dun sa, or bumababa sa height ng soil, tumataas yung pressure, ganun din yung tubig habang bumababa tumataas yung pressure. So, for our P sub 1, syempre, kakailanganin muna natin yung at rest pressure coefficient. So, the at rest pressure coefficient given to us by Jackie will be K sub O is equal to 1 minus the sine of phi. So, the 1 minus sine of phi will be equivalent to 1 minus sine of 21 degrees so calculating that one we could get the value of k sub o which is equal to a value 0 0.6416 so ito ngayon yung address earth pressure coefficient natin for the sample problem so, we could now solve for the value of P sub 1. So, our P sub 1 will just be equivalent to a value K sub O times gamma prime H. So, syempre, yung soil natin as a, has a full height of H. So, ngayon, kailangan natin yung gamma prime or yung effective unit weight. Sabi sa, sa, uh, sabi sa problem natin, Yung 19.5 is a saturated unit weight. So, to get the effective unit weight, we have to sub, uh, subtract the saturated unit weight to the unit weight of water. So, our K sub O is 0 0.6416 multiplied by, so, syempre, yung saturated 19.5, ibawas natin yung water which is 9.81 times the height of the soil which is 4 meters. So, our P sub 1 will now be equal to 24.8684 So, that is in kilopascal. So, ngayon, isunod natin yung P sub 2 natin which is 
the pressure caused by our water so yung pressure na yun will just be equivalent to the gamma ng water times the height ng water so dito wala na tayong at rest earth pressure coefficient kasi wala naman tayong or hindi naman to soil so this is water so hindi na natin isasama dito yung at rest earth pressure coefficient that is just gamma ng water times height na lang so that will be equivalent now to 9.81 times the height of water which is 4 meters so our P sub 2 now will just be equivalent to a value of 981 over 25. So, ito na ngayon yung pressures natin, P1 and P sub 2. Ngayon, ang pwede natin gawin is to add the two pressure or the two pressure diagram. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin gawin na para makuha si force or si P sub O, it will be F1 plus the F2. So, P sub O is equal to, yung force 1 natin will be the area of the first pressure diagram which is 1 half times yung P sub 1 which is the base of the triangle. So, that is 24.8684 times yung height nung triangle natin which is 4 meters plus 1 half times yung base natin nung second uh, pressure diagram which is 981 over 25 times yung height nung pressure diagram or yung second pressure diagram which is also 4. So, our P sub O will be equivalent to a value 128.2168. So, this is in kilonewton per meter. So, ito na ngayon yung hinahanap na at rest lateral earth force. So, syempre, ito pwede rin nating isolve using the principle ng integral calculus. So, syempre, Ang gagawin lang natin dito sa dalawang diagram is magpapalabas tayo ng resulting na pressure diagram. So, syempre, automatically, i-add lang natin yung mga values ng pressures. So, syempre, yung nasa taas, automatically, 0 plus 0 yan. So, that is still 0. So, meron tayong triangle dito. So, Ang nasa ilalim yung base will be a value P1 plus P2 na. So, yung taas automatically that is 0. So, we have now the resulting pressure diagram. So, for this one, syempre, kuha tayo ulit ng differential strip. And let this one be X and the height will be DY. Tapos, syempre, Yung part dito will be 0 and P1 plus P2 or balik tad, that is P1 plus P2 and 0. Tapos yung nandito will be 0 and the height. So we first get what is P1 or pressure 1 plus pressure 2. So that is equal to a value yung kanina 24.8684 plus 981 over 25 so P1 plus P2 now will be a value equivalent to 64.1084 so that is in kilopascal so, ngayon, pwede na tayo ulit kumuha ng equation of the line which correspond or which will correspond to a value y is equal to mx plus b. So, yung m natin, syempre, still, that is rise over run. So, that ang rise natin will be 4.4 uh, 4 
minus 0 ulit kasi the height is 4 tapos this one is yung P1 tsaka P2 so divided by 0 minus 64.1084 so our slope will be equivalent to a value 0 0.06 0 0.06239 So, ito ngayon yung slope natin and our y-intercept will now be equal to syempre substitute natin ito So, alam din natin na ang lalabas dyan will be 4 kasi x is 0 So, automatically our y-intercept will be 4 so, we now have an equation y is equal to dm which is 0 0.06239x plus 4. Arranging the term para yung equation natin maging in terms of y. So, that will be y minus 4 is equal to 0 0.06239x. Pero remember... Neg may negative yun kanina so this will become negative eto negative din so ayusin lang natin so negative 0 0.06239 x dividing both sides by negative 0 0.06239 we can have a value 4 minus y over 0 0.06239 is equal to x so, ito ngayon yung isa-substitute natin to get the area of our pressure diagram. So, we could have an equation. Yung P sub O natin will be equivalent to an integral of dA which is integral of x dy. So, P sub O will just be equivalent to a value integral of 4 minus y over 0 0.06239. So, that is times dy. So, ang limiting value natin is wala dito sa axis na to, pakiatin natin yung differential strip. So, that will be 0 to 4. Computing this one using our calculator, we will have P sub O equivalent to So, that is 128.2257 that is in kilonewton per meter so ito nagbago lang yung decimal nya yung second and third decimal kasi nga uh, nag round off na tayo ng value ng slope so ibig sabihin merong changes dun sa first or second decimal so ang discrepancy lang naman nilang dalawa will be a value so, that is 0 0.0089 which is almost negligible since almost nandun sa last two decimals yung difference nila. So, that will be all for our sample problem number 2. Again, this is Engineer Rodolfo. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV.